Hey there, this is Jonathan. Um, from now on, I'm going to probably be doing audio in my videos. It's easier. Um, so anyways, this week I worked on quite a few different things. However, one of the biggest things I did got accomplished was the sprite sheet. And here's a video showing the making of the sprite sheet. I set up a palette of four colors and then had it um, with a 20% oscillation to give the variety of the colors. Let me remind you, I am not an artist. I am a programmer. I am just doing this because yeah, I can. I have to. Nobody else is here to do it. Okay, um, the video is not going to speed up in time lapse, otherwise I won't be able to get everything in here in, in, in under 10 minutes. To be able to see if the seams were working, I created little scenarios where the seams would be in use. I tried to do every single possible water land combination I could think of. Uh, I think I got them all. At this point, I have already done the concave corners and the convex corners, and all I have to do is copy and paste the corners whenever I need them. I did some touch-ups every so often when I noticed there was a bad seam. Here I'm trying to calculate how the how I can figure out if 
what the water should be. What I do is I'll check from starting at the very top tile, go down right one, and then continue going down right, down right, all through the uh, eight, yeah, eight sides. Seeing if it's land or water. If it's land, it would have a one. If it's water, it would have a zero. Uh, so every time, every single one would have their own unique binary uh, number, which I would then convert it to decimal, and that would be the tile. The decimal number would be what the tile is. This is just the boring part of cleaning up the image and making it work with the transparencies. I'm moving the grass into a helper folder so that as soon as I turn it off, all the grass will disappear, leaving only the water with the transparencies. Saving the image. I'm going to be uploading the file and working on the XML. Here's the XML. The XML I have working for the game, what it does is it will slice up, it tells the, the engine where to slice in the game on, on the actual sprite sheet. And this is the actual sequel part of the game. I'm having to change the map around to, it will now have a water type on the map. So each tile can have a land type, a land form, and a water type. If the water type is null, then it has no water. bytes that are sent to the to the game it will send a negative one if it's a non-water tile however if it is water it will send the water type which is that number one through or zero through 255 here I'm working on the XML it's very alt tabish All right, don't forget to check out the site, www.feudalempires.com, and register. If you're registered whenever the game is up for beta or actually launching, I'm going to email everybody that's registered on the site to let everybody know. And also, it helps me know if anybody's interested in the game or not.